Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. I'm Renee Skinner. It's Monday, March 29th, and this is a News 5 update. Today marks one week since the deadly shooting at a King Supers in Boulder. Authorities are still trying to piece together a motive, but they also say they can't release too much information because they don't want to taint the trial process. The memorial service for Officer Talley will be held tomorrow morning at Flatirons Community Church in Lafayette. The general public will be allowed to attend, but officials are encouraging folks to watch the service from home because of COVID restrictions. Happening today, UCCS will join the University of Colorado community with a moment of silence for the Boulder victims and everyone impacted. That is planned for 2.30 this afternoon. Law enforcement officers in northern Colorado believe they've solved one of the oldest homicide cold cases in the U.S. It's a murder that happened 41 years ago. Weld County Sheriff's deputies arrested James Herman Dye in Kansas. He's accused of murdering Kay Day in November 1979. Detectives were able to link Dye to the murder through modern DNA testing. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Well, we've got quite a quite a stretch of weather coming our way where today we're talking about your Monday high winds and fire danger. We actually could have some damaging wind gusts over the mountains and some of the valleys. I've had several 50 to close to 60 mile per hour wind reports. A lot of them in the mountains or valleys, not so much I-25 East. We are going to get some snowfall to come Tuesday morning and uh, kind of linger into the afternoon dry of the weekend. As far as that snow goes, it's not the most we've seen out of the last few March storms, but it's still enough to, you know, make travel tomorrow morning a little concerning. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.